It's a holiday weekend coming up, and I know what you want to hear. You want to hear it's going to be warm. You want to hear it's going to be clear. The thing is, we're going to struggle to clear this, guys. I know it looks pretty good right now, but there's a little feature moving into the west. It's going to create a lot of clouds. It's going to push it well into the interior. Temperatures are going to come down. The thing is, they'll probably come up on Sunday and Monday, but again, you need to be ready for the swing. And here you can see it, the community cast for coastal valleys. Early clouds likely, mist drizzle possible, and then a smattering of clouds in the afternoon. Look at the highs, just low, maybe mid 60s. There's going to be a breeze too. It's going to be onshore close to 20 miles per hour in the early afternoon. In the interior, the depth of the marine clouds going to get some of those clouds over the topography into the interior to start the day. Look at the winds late in the day, 23 miles per hour. is gonna help clean out the skies ultimately, but just lower 70s. These are for places that hit the low mid 80s even this week. South coast conditions, we might not see much clearing at all. Northeast winds turn a little more westerly here. There's going to be a lot of cloud cover. We might see some breaks in the sun, but temperatures are going to stay in the 60s. And beaches struggling to get to 60, but the winds in the afternoon might help clean out the skies. We're expecting winds to be about 20 miles per hour, so a bit of a bite there. And again, at Pismo today, we did see the clearing after quite a bit of pea soup in terms of the skies early in the day. You can see the haze overhead right now in San Luis. It's 67 northwest winds 13 Santa Maria 64 winds 15 Santa Barbara we're sitting at 62 73 in Paso Robles winds west southwest at 13 and Lompoc 62 degrees at the moment highs today Again, they look pretty good. You had the low 70s in Santinez and San Luis, 77 in Paso Robles, 66, Santa Maria, 64 in Santa Barbara. But again, the trend is down. And that's because we're picking up the flow off of this very cold ocean water temperatures in the mid 50s. So when you're talking about 15, 20 mile per hour winds, that's a thing. And we have a trough swinging through the west as well. So we already have quite a bit of cloud cover out there. Again, we showed you some spots where it's clear, but the South Coast, we're dealing with clouds as well. Look at the modeling, a real press tonight into the coastal valleys and the interior valleys by tomorrow morning, and it doesn't fully clear. It gets back to the beach line where it lingers, and then a big push Friday into Saturday. Even the model picking up these mist and drizzle opportunities. This is Saturday morning. It's all the way out to the Tembler range, which gives you an idea of just how much marine influence there's going to be. And again, it's because we have a trough moving into the west here, and it's a broad trough across the entire region. That's why everybody's going to cool down. But then a ridge starts building later Saturday into Sunday, and you can see it cleans out the skies. Temperatures will respond. They will warm up in my forecast. 8 to 14 day, if you're thinking it's going to be cold and murky forever. Precip outlooks looks dry and the temperature outlook probably leaning towards warmer than average. So for Friday, you've got temperatures in the low 60s for many of the coastal valley communities with the interior valley anywhere from the mid 60s into the lower 70s. Five cities low, maybe mid 60s if we get lucky on some clearing. Santinez Valley even shy of 70. So cool to start the holiday weekend. Warming though, 80 degrees Monday, 81 for Pastor Robles. San Luis Obispo warming to the mid 70s later next week. Santa Maria back to 70, but it's going to take all the way into Wednesday and Thursday of next week to warm up parts of Santa Barbara County.